Hello everyone, welcome to the Redmen TV and my match reaction after Liverpool were beaten at home to Crystal Palace, the first consecutive home defeat um, with fans inside Anfield since 2017 um, and it was same old story in many ways for Liverpool. Um, it's hard to sort of hide my disappointment and I'm not going to try to um, if truth be told because it was, it was just a really, really disappointing display from start to finish in many ways and it's it's a lot of what we've seen recently is a little bit of an extension of Thursday night against Atalanta if truth be told and it felt like on the back of that game all the talk was including from myself and from everyone really including Jurgen Klopp pre-match was like we need to show reaction from that like we'll we'll learn our lessons we'll bounce back even Virgil van Dijk post-game on Thursday night was saying like we're to blame you know we'll 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 deal with it, we'll swallow it, and we'll come back and we'll, we'll be stronger for it, basically. And we'll really sort of, we'll prove that we are a proper footy team and we are sort of a force we reckoned with when it comes to playing at the very highest level. Um, but we weren't at all. It was right from the off. And I get that teams will come to Anfield now and we'll play Liverpool anywhere, really, whether it be our own backyard or, or indeed theirs, and fancy the chances a little bit and sense blood in terms of we have been sluggish starters all season long, really. And most teams will come flying out the blocks thinking, OK, if we get going here, we might get a little bit of good fortune on the way, win our early battles. Who knows, we might get um, something off the back of it. And Palace did that. And I, I'm... It's it's not unforgivable. I can almost come to grips with that and come to terms with that. But you do want us to start better, and we didn't. We lost our battles straight away. Palace were in a couple of times. Alison Becker back in the side was called upon twice in the first 60, 70 seconds of the game. And you think, OK, you know, we've weathered that mini storm now. Let's build from there. But we never really. And it was much of the same once again. It was lethargic with the ball. I asked us to start the game to sort of show that real intent, pass with purpose, and actually mean what we were doing. There was none of that. And so far this season, this has been a side that can hurt you in so many ways. If you want to have a fight, we'll fight you. If you want to play footy, we'll play footy against you. But it just lacked that for 45 minutes in particular. And the goal is all far too easy. It was far too reminiscent of Thursday night. It's, it's nice football from Palace. You've got to give them their credit for it as well. But they must play nine, ten passes in the round, our penalty area. And it is well worked. But there's no tracking of runners. There's nobody willing to just take the ball by the horns, grab the initiative and go, no, this can't be happening, go and win the ball back. And when it eventually comes from the pullback to Eze, Eze is on his own inside the penalty area for about 10 seconds in the build-up to the goal. That can't be right. And then when the ball comes across, you can see it unfold in front of your very eyes. Nobody's coming with him. Nobody's tracked him. And he's just got the, the freedom in the penalty area to slot at home. And he can literally pick his spot. He's got that long. There's so little pressure on him to do so when it eventually comes to him. It's farcical. And again, Skamaka scored twice in very similar fashion in midweek against us. It's far too easy, far too straightforward. And it's criminal, if you've be told, it really is. And from that moment on, then you expect a response from Liverpool. And, you know, in terms of balance of play, possession, all that sort of stuff, it probably was there. The numbers might suggest that it was, but it really wasn't in terms of the intensity for large parts. And too often that the attacking lads weren't on the same wavelength. The decision-making was wrong occasionally as well. I feel like I'm repeating myself in recent weeks because it's just been the case time and time again. The execution, the finishes wasn't right either at times. And just same old, same old, as I've already said, to be honest with you. It was so, so frustrating to watch. And a couple of half-decent chances. And we hit the bar through with Taro in the first half. Fell from a corner. We did look threatening from corners. That felt like it was our best possible avenue to a goal, to be honest with you, at large parts of the game. Um, Louis Diaz went close as well with an acrobatic effort at the back post. Um, I will say this. For the first half in particular, Andy Robertson was brilliant. He was the only one. It was like Robertson against Palace for large parts. And included in that was loads of attack and endeavour. And loads of attack and quality as well. Including that cross for the Diaz chance. But a goal line clearance that felt like it might mean something in the grander scheme of things because he got back so, so well, read the danger and it was a bit James Milner-esque, if you remember that one from a couple of years ago, gets back and clears his lines and prevents it from going 2-0 and having an even bigger mountain to climb. I know it obviously didn't mean anything in the end, but yeah, Andy Robertson was exceptional first half, give him his due for that because Liverpool weren't, Robertson was. Um, second half, it was... We lost Bradley early doors. We made a change at the break as well. So Bosley came on for Endo. Endo wasn't at it. Wasn't at it at all, by the way. And I like with Taro Endo. I think he's a really good season, given the fact that nobody really expected much from him. I think it's fair to say when he arrived. I think he's been brilliant. But last couple of games, he's not been at it at all. And today was one of them. Just, yeah, kept getting caught in possession. His use of the ball wasn't right either. It was a, it was a hard watch, actually. 
Um, but yeah, second half, the Bosley comes on uh, to inject a little bit of energy, a bit more of his dynamism in terms of his running forwards, his physicality, which he did, but his quality lacked a little bit to be desired too. Um, we lost Conor Bradley. Trent comes on for him probably earlier than we'd have liked, to be honest with you. It's hard to expect Trent to hit the ground running, given how long he's been out for, given the fact he's probably not ready for 45 odd minutes of footy. But yeah, it didn't really change a lot. Liverpool, by this point, had really sort of... I guess arrested control of the game were dominant in terms of territory, in terms of possession, in terms of chances as well, to be fair. But yeah, it, um, it was just one of them stories and one of them days, really, whereby it just wouldn't go in for us. Um, Darwin Nunes had a big chance. He's probably on in chronological order, but Darwin Nunes had a big chance. Struck it well enough on the volley from another corner. But um, Dean Henderson manages to get a knee, just sticks a knee out and manages to get it over. Um, Joe Jota with the whole goal at his mercy, fires it straight into Nathaniel Klein. The keeper's already gone. He's come out to deal with a different situation. It falls to Jota. Probably has to score, to be honest with you. He just needs to pick his spot and can't do so. And Salah has a big chance, about a yard out, Salah. And the Curtis Jones one, Cody Gappo comes on. Fair to Gappo does well. And he finds Curtis Jones, one-on-one -on -one with a keeper, and he just needs to roll it either side of him to get it. Horribly wrong, just like I got that horribly wrong then. Pretty much sums up my day, to be honest with you, knocking stuff off the desk. Um, yeah, just, honestly. And Liverpool pushed right to the end. Alisson up for a late free kick. But yeah, it's just done, 1-0. Alisson made a big save as well um, for Mateta to keep the score at 1-0. Um, just a ridiculous save, a bit Dudek-esque from Istanbul, if you remember that. Just sticks a hand out from literally half a yard away and manages to tip it over the bar. But... Listen, bigger picture, um, title race well out of our hands now, well out of our hands. And on the evidence of that performance and indeed the one in midweek, insurmountable now that I don't see us, I don't even see us winning all six games. Coming into today, I was still optimistic, I was still positive. I said we could win all seven and what will be will be. If we win all seven, it might be enough to win the league. I don't know anymore. We definitely won't be, obviously, mathematically, but I'm not even sure if we win all seven now. Um, in the space of three days, Liverpool's season has fell apart at the seams and it hurts it hurts a lot we were frustrating and just toothless in attack that created 20 odd chances 20 odd shots once again no goals to show for it not good enough not even close to being good enough absolute disaster yeah i'm done see you later uh, take it easy